Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Mr. Double back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple logo in After Effects CS6. This works from CS4 all the way to CS6, and you don't need anything special, no like plugins. Uh, so, how about we get started? It's real simple and it looks really nice. So, open up After Effects, uh, go up here in Composition, and go to New Composition. Click that, and we're going to get this window. Make sure your width and height are 800 pixels by 800 pixels, and make sure that your duration is 0, 1. Uh, 800 and 800 is a normal resolution for like almost all profile pictures, so it's good to go. So click OK. You're going to get this little tiny box right here. And now right click in this empty area over here and go to, whoa, right click and go to New, and then go to Solid. Now choose the background color you want. I'm going to go with Cyan because I like this color, and yeah, everything's set over here. So once you have this done, make sure it's also 800 by 800, and then click OK. Once you have this, go over here to this little rectangle mask tool, hold it, and go to Ellipse. Once you have the ellipse tool, you're going to get the plus sign over here. Dr grab a corner like this and expand it, like so. And center it to the best of your ability. I'm going to say this is centered. Once you have it like this, uh, make sure you go back to the selection tool. And now click down arrow on the mask right over here. Down arrow. And then these are mask feather and then mask, you know, all these options. So go to mask feather and increase this. There's no set limit. Uh, I'm going to go with this much. This looks nice. It's okay. Th it's going to get less dark on the sides once we go to expansion. So right now I'm at like 494. That's good for me. Now go to mask expansion and increase this a little bit. Bam. I like this. So as you can see, it's really, you got to customize it to your liking on how bright or dark you want the background. But I'm going to say this is good. So once you have it like this, uh, minimize this. Right click anywhere and go to new and then go to text. And I'm going to get this. Uh, type in your initials for your channel or just one letter. I'm going to go with one letter and that's M. Go back to the selection tool. Drag this on top like so. Expand it, you know, a little bit. Oh, God. Expand it a little bit to your liking. Like so. Put it in the middle. And once you have it all set and ready, uh, go back to the mask tool. Click it once. No. What is this? I'm sorry about the random pause. Everything's fine. Uh, make sure Once you click this again, you're going to get the plus sign again. Once you're here, drag like about this corner right here, hold and drag. Oh god. Okay, so grab the corner and hold and drag like so, and you're gonna get the inside. So center it on the letter or letters that you have, and this, I'm gonna say this is pretty centered. So have it like this, go back to the yellow mask option right here, down click on the arrow, and basically the same thing that you did over here. So increase the feathering like so like 200 mask expansion is the one that really makes a difference so uh, I'm gonna say this looks nice so right uh, let me just center this a little better okay so basically right now your logo is pretty much done this looks like a really nice logo it looks pretty professional uh, but uh, if you want to add a little bit more and you have optical flares and, app and After Effects, which you, I think you really should. I think everyone should have optical flares. But So we're just going to go to uh, right-click anywhere and go to New and go to Solid. You don't have to do this part because uh, you know some people might like it like this. Others may not. Uh, so click OK once you've created a new Solid and go to Effects, Video Copilot, Optical Flares. Remember, you don't have to do this part. Uh, I'm just going to go over here. Just choose anything else, something to contrast the colors. Uh, oh, no. Ugh. There you go. Uh, on transparent. Uh, there you go. So right now, I would say that my lo my logo, my profile picture is pretty much done. This looks like a really nice logo. Uh, you can see the colors blending over here, and it's being really um really sharp in the middle. Uh, so how do I render this? Well, go to composition, and go to Add to render queue. So click that. You're going to be taken over here. Go to output module and click lossless. Once you're here, go to format, click down arrow on this, and go to PNG sequence. It's okay, it's only going to make one picture. So go to PNG sequence over here, click OK. Output form, choose where it's going to get outputted. I'm going to choose the desktop. So there you go, save. Now, to render it, just click render, and it's going to render. So watch this. Instantaneous. So now if we minimize all this, our logo is right here. This is what our logo looks like. Uh, so yeah, you could upload this. It's, it's a really small file. Yeah, it's 300 kilobytes. 
and it's perfect ratio for your YouTube channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please subscribe or leave a like. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.